Hey all, Moto here, and today I have a short tutorial on how to grant admin permissions in 7 Days to Die on a G Portal server. In case you didn't know, I am partnered with G Portal. This is not a paid ad, I just decided to do it a tutorial. But if you are uh, looking for game hosting, consider checking out the link in my description. It helps me out and gets you 10% off your game server. So recently the UI on G Portal's site got an update and when I went in to refresh my community server for the 1.0 launch of 7 Days to Die, I was a little confused as to where to go. I figured I would save you some time in case you were like me and a little bit confused. No worries though, this is still super easy. All you do, go to your server page, go to the file manager on the left hand side and then I recommend just toggling off turn off your server that way any changes we're going to have to restart it anyway so I just turn it off just kind of think of these as like files on your computer you actually you're going to go down to saves and you actually do need to double click then the next page you're also going to choose saves and then from here you're going to go down to the bottom server admin.xml is what you want double click all right, so this page does look a little intimidating. If you've never done this before, I promise you it is super easy, okay? For this, you do need your Steam ID. So if you don't know your Steam ID, scroll up to the top, you'll see it says Steam ID instructions. Right there's everything you need to know on how to get your Steam ID. I will also put a link to the G Portal website in the description that gives you information on how to get it. I went to my Steam page, went to like my profile, and at the top, real small, you could get the numbers and copy them right there. That's how I got it. After you have your Steam ID, you just scroll down. You're going to go to admin tools. What you're going to look for is this line right here. Basically, this is like a little sample code. It's not active right now because it has that arrow the exclamation point and the two dashes in front of it and behind it. So what we're going to do is remove those. And then we're going to go to the end and remove those. Now make sure you don't go too far. You don't want to, you don't want to hit this one. You just get this arrow, the dash, you just get that. Okay. That's all you need. Now you'll see the color has changed that it's active. So it's user platform steam user ID. So you're going to replace that with your own. So I just put mine in there and then name. This is just like a note to yourself as to who this person is, because you could put anyone I'm putting myself Moto and then permission level for admin is zero. If you want to add more people, what you can do, like if you want to have yourself maybe as admin and you have like a trusted group of one or two, however many people, uh, you just take this copy and then paste it. And then you would just put in their steam ID and name is there as well. I'm not going to be doing that. So once you have everyone added that you want to add, you're going to hit save. And then all you have to do, go back up to the toggle, turn your server back on. Once it loads, you should be good to go. I hope this was helpful. If it was, a like and subscribe helps a ton. Thanks so much and I'll see you next time. Flip, flip.